All right, guys, we are back. Uh, this is my dad. This is Papa Forky. Uh, we are on our way out to this property in Conway, Missouri. Uh, gonna go uh, check out this private place that my dad uh, has made a connection with the owner, and we're going to uh, scout it. Gonna put out the Rack Daddy mineral stuff, the Rack Daddy uh, scrape rope, and we're gonna see what hidden treasures this property holds. We know there's a pond or two that's on the property. Uh, there's The owner has told my dad that he's seen a nice group, a bachelor group of bucks, uh, that he's seen a whole, uh, just a large herd of does, uh, that there's possibly a black bear in the area, maybe even a mountain lion. So all sorts of uh, things await to this brand new property. And uh, I'm just excited to get up here and uh, put it to work and do some scouting and see what we can find. So, here we go. Seeing, I'm just seeing a path here. I'm seeing a path up here. The pond, the pond is right back up here to the left. Yes, yeah, so they can follow that up to the pond. And this is where I'm gonna set up my first trail camera. All right, I am headed back out here to put out this scrape rope and the last trail camera. I put out the first one over the Rack Daddy stuff on that trail where those, where the, or where the trails come together. But when we were walking out here the first time, we spooked up. I didn't see antlers, but my dad said he saw antlers. He said it was a nice buck. So I'm walking back here and uh, gonna see if I can put out that last trail camera and the scrape rope and uh, see what results we get. So stick with me. Just trying to get into a good thick point farther back on the property here. Thick stuff through here. I'm liking some of that grass over there. Looks like old rub lines. Definitely like how this uh, this looks back here. See this green patch of grass over here as well. Thinking, I see what looks to be old old rubs. Let me get this scrape rope in here. 
I think there's a couple of good trees right here. At the right opportunity could take a shot back in here. So as I'm standing here, I notice some old scrapes. I think that, or I'm sorry, old rubs. I think that's an old rub. There's some old rubs. And they're coming back here. Old rubs that look maybe a year or two old. Uh, coincides with this this grass here. Uh, I think I may have found a honey hole. The ground's all tore up. Could be squirrels. I haven't seen any poop at the moment, but. It's getting dark, so I'm gonna try to hurry to get this uh, other trail camera and uh, scrape rope up. I think Madison and I could set up here together to film and hunt. Squeeze a lane through there to that area right there. So it's kinda a little higher than I wanted, but it's a pre-scented scrape rope from Rack Daddy. I had to make shift. I didn't bring the right tools I needed, but it may produce something. So let me get this cleared a little bit, get the camera up and uh, get out of here. And we will see what kind of pictures these cameras produce. And hopefully you're seeing some right about now. Well, we are wrapping up. We just saw two, uh, look like little eight pointers, maybe six pointers, not sure. Uh, they're at a little bit of a distance and um, with, the, with the daylight, didn't have much of a view, but they were right down the road. So hopefully we get to see those guys on camera. But overall, I think uh, it's gonna be an absolute awesome place to hunt. Really excited about it. So yeah, Dad, you got anything to add? Nope. All right. Well, thanks for watching today's video. And uh, remember, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Remember, at The Weekend Hunter, this is more than a channel name. It's a lifestyle. We'll see you next time.